What's going on, my little piglets? It's your BFF Porkchop here, and I'm coming at you with another game of either the game where it gives you two options and you have to choose which one that you think is the best, like right off the bat here. Would you rather be Batman or be Superman? I mean, there is no contest. Batman, clearly, and even consensus-wise, Batman is better. I think Batman is just the ultimate superhero, and I think Superman is just... just a Boy Scout and Batman knows how to bend the rules when he needs to so of course Batman Would you rather be Rosa Parks or be Harriet Tubman? Let's see Underground Railroad or Not giving up my bus seats I'd probably say Harriet Tubman like she actually like led the slaves to freedom uh, Nothing against Rosa Parks, you know, she stood her ground and actually went to jail for what she did, but Harriet Tubman, I mean, she actually was there in the action. So I'm gonna have to go with Harriet Tubman. Oh, come on. Come on, Harriet Tubman had more of an adventure. Of course, Rosa Parks, you know, stood for what she believed in, and I guess that would be the popular consensus. Okay, would you rather wear one skin tight clothing or wear clothing that are too big? Uh, going back to me not having a butt, um, I work pants that are sometimes way too big for me and then I usually have to like adjust them with like the uh, the uh, drawstring or a belt but skin tight clothing hurts especially for somebody that's as big as me so something that's too big so we're something baggy yeah of course you know that's that's actually kind of smart would you rather have to wear a full body red <laughs> leotard on your wedding day <laughs> or have the person that you are wearing that day where the full leotard full body red leotard i bet my girlfriend would be kind of hot in a red leotard i'm just saying um so i'm gonna have to go with the person that i marry yeah i mean like I, i'm sure i can rock a, a red leotard i bet you guys think i could rock a red leotard but no i'm gonna have to go with jocelyn so there we go would you rather communicate with animals or speak every language flu fluently? Oh, being in the Texas Panhandle, it's a big old melting pot of of white, Hispanic, some Asian, Indian. Like it's just a big old melting pot. So I think that would be awesome to uh, speak every language fl fluently. But I could also communicate with animals and ask my dog Rome why he's such a prick to Chris. Because he hates Chris. That's the first thing I would do if I can communicate with animals. Be like, hey, Rome, why are you such a prick to Chris? And he'd be like, oh, because he's, he's an asshole. Or something like that. That's how Rome talks. He's just an asshole. Um, but no, I'm, speak every language fluently. That'd be kind of cool. Especially if I can like understand what people are saying. Like when they're talking shit to me in a different language. That'd be kind of cool. I've always wanted to do that. Okay, next one. Would you rather... Have, okay, I've already asked this one, so on to the next one. Would you rather watch only dramas for the rest of your life or watch one comedy? One com only Oh, watch only comedies for the rest of your life. Well, comedies are better. Like, even last night as I was editing videos and doing homework, I had Deadpool on in the background, and I consider that, like, one of the best comedies of my generation. So I'm going to have to go with comedies because laughter is awesome. Plus, I can watch Mrs. Doubtfire anytime I want. I can watch Happy Gilmore, Billy Madison, Wedding Singer. I can watch any comedy that I want. I have more comedies over there than I do dramas. But the occasional drama is pretty awesome too. I love dramas like um, yeah, what movie? Oh, I did watch a drama the other day. What did I watch? That was a good one. Um, Prisoners. I watched Prisoners. That was a, a damn good movie with uh, Jake Gyllenhaal. That was a really good movie. All right, would you rather be Matt Damon or be Ben Affleck? Well, Ben Affleck's Batman, so technically I would probably have to say Ben Affleck, even though Matt Damon does, you know, the Bourne movies and he's in a bunch of other movies, but I like Ben Affleck. He did Reindeer Games, one of my favorite Christmas movies of all time, but that's okay. Would you rather be the first person to walk on Mars via... A one-way trip or never never travel to space so I'm stuck on Mars by myself speaking of uh, Matt Damon didn't they do a movie where Matt Damon was trapped on Mars forever it seemed like um, no that sounds awful um, even though it'd be kind of cool to you know be alone 
and cook potatoes and eat nothing but potatoes. But no, I'm going to say never travel to space because that just, that's just too risky. It's like, hey, hey, I'm on Mars and I have to stay here with no human civilization whatsoever. So, yeah, no. Would you rather cure cancer or make first contact with the alien race? Well, obviously cure cancer. You know, that, that that's this is a cool concept, but that right there is just a miracle, a miraculous thing that would just be awesome for humanity. This would be awesome for humanity so that we wouldn't have things like Independence Day or Mars Attack, but cure cancer, I mean, just, I don't think there would be anything better than having the cure for cancer except for probably solving world hunger. Okay, would you... All right, if you had to wake up to one thing every day, what would it be? Deeply insulted by a stranger or <laughs> slapped across the face. Insults. <laughs> Sticks and stones may break my bones, but that shit'll hurt. Uh, no, I'm going to have to go with being deeply insulted by a stranger because it almost happens to me every day on a regular basis at work. So, ooh, a 50-50 split. Look at that. But technically, right here, has more... Dang, a lot of people are like a glutton for punishment. No, I would rather be insulted because I've been putting up with it my entire life. You know, I have an older sister that likes to yell at me and about stupid stuff. So, no, no, it's just the word. Would you rather be a manly woman or a womanly man? So, Caitlyn Jenner or Bruce Jenner? Oh, boy. I think that'd be kind of cool to be a manly woman. You know, nobody would mess with me. You know, I go to like a, a car dealership and I'm like, I want that car. Like, okay, we're not going to hassle you. So I'd rather be, I would rather be a, but I'm already kind of a womanly man as it is. Like I just, my girlfriend does Mary Kay and I just got a facial this week. So, <laughs> you know what? I is what I is. So, oh, I should have got with that one because that was the popular consensus. But no, that was awesome. Would you rather be? Waterboarded to death or be electrocuted to death? Okay, waterboarded. Which saw trap would I like to die in, pretty much? Um, drowning or electrocution? Um, oof. Probably electrocuted. Yeah, I would have to go with electrocution. Because just drowning, you know, water filling up your lungs, you can't breathe. That would be awful. And then electrocution, you know, sometimes it's, it's that quick. But sometimes it could be like taken where he just like leaves the light on and walks away. Just, uh, yeah. So, no. Nah, yeah. <laughs> All right. Would you rather have a cute boyfriend for dates? What? What? Have a cute boyfriend who dates dates other girls? Have a really ugly boyfriend who looks loyal? <laughs> She's going to disagree with me, but I bet Jocelyn has me in that guy. I know I'm not ugly. I know I am fabulous. I am awesome. But, I mean, technically, I mean, obviously, loyalty is key, especially me being a Leo. You know, loyalty is one of my traits. Would you rather be your favorite video game character or be your favorite movie character? Okay, so Batman or Batman. <laughs> this is just the Batman either. You know, this is already the third question where I've brought up Batman. Um, movie character. That would be pretty sick. Of course, video game character. People would probably be like Master Chief or, you know, Solid Snake or whoever. But no, Batman. It was Batman or Batman, either way. Alright, two more questions. Would you rather see how or what created civilization? Or see or how or... Oh, see how or what civilization ends? Well, technically, you know, I paid attention and history class, so I already know what created civilization. I'd like to see how it ends. Yeah, that'd be kind of eerie and creepy. It's probably going to be like Apocalypse from like X-Men or something. Something crazy like that. Alright, last one. If you were to bet your life savings on a single roulette spin, would you rather bet it on black or bet it on red? Yeah, where's Rain Man when I need him? Um, I would probably have to say bet it on black. Oh, see? Technically, I'm correct because society agrees with me. So, guys, there you have it. There is volume three of either. Leave me the answers to the questions down below, which you guys would answer. And, of course, you can hit that subscribe button. That's right here. I'm, I'm, I'm putting it, like, right here. It's going to be right here. And then my previous video link I'm putting right here. 
So guys, thank you all so much once again for dropping by. Please turn on that notifications. Please turn please turn on notifications by going to the subscribe button down below and clicking on that bell. You will get notified every time I upload a video and you won't be disappointed. So thank you all so much once again for dropping by. This is how you get your weekend started off right with a game of either. So thank you all so much once again and always remember my little piglets calling Fort Chop. Loves y'all the most. Y'all take it easy guys and I'll see y'all next time. Bye guys!